we'll just get started. You guys can film, and if you get busted, that's not my fault. <laughs> no, if they, if they're gonna, if this is a secret proceeding, I don't know. That's it. Otherwise, every deposition we wanted outside, the court never let us have anything, <coughs> never responded. We tried to arrange, and the counsel okay. in the middle. Let's get on the record, and then you can tell me all your tales. I don't have tales. The tale that has to be responded by the other party. Microphone, please. Cell phones on offer vibrate. Ready? Yes. Please stand by. Good afternoon. We're on the record. The time is 1.10 p.m. and the date is January 11, 2019. This begins the videotape deposition of David Kahn. And this deposition is being taken on behalf of counsel for defendants in the matter of David Kahn et al. versus Justin Rogers, City of Penal et al. This case is filed in the United States District Court, Northern District of California. Case number CIV-5548. This deposition is being held in the United States District Court, located in San Francisco, California. My name is Sean Grant from the firm Veritex. I'm a videographer, and the court reporter is Linda Shirak, also from Veritex. Please note that audio and the video recording will take place unless all parties have agreed to go to record. Microphones are sensitive and may pick up whispers, private conversations, or sound interference. At this time, will counsel please identify themselves? Noah Blackman on behalf of the defendants, also present, Sergeant Rogers and my associate Amy Rothman. Interpreter? Ron Leon, witness interpreter, ID number 7-0-0-5-8-1. Witness? David Kahn, the plaintiff. Also present? Lisa Tunjo. Thank you. Lisa Tunjo. Thank you. Will the certified court reporter please swear on the witness and the interpreter? Mr. Leon, the jury is right here. Do you, do you solemnly state that you shall interpret to the best of your ability for the English that they use and for the American that they speak? I do. Thank you. Mr. Kahn, the jury is so, right here. Do you solemnly state that the evidence you shall give in this matter should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Counsel, uh, could you please state and spell your full name for the record? David Kahn, last name is Kahn, K-H-A-N. Okay, before we got started, I understand your wife is here. She's holding a camera towards me. It's not a camera, it's a phone. Uh, a phone, and she's videotaping this. Like I said before we got on the record, I think it's improper to be videotaping. Number one, you did not provide any notice that you'd be videotaping this proceeding. Number two, I believe you have to get court approval to do so. We have a neutral videographer who's recording all these proceedings. I told you we. Uh, it may also be a security issue to be filming and maybe improper in this courtroom. I find it's uh, somewhat intimidating, trying to intimidate me by videotaping this proceeding with uh, your, your phone pointed at me. Um, so it, at this point, to move this matter forward, we're gonna move it forward uh, by asking you questions and we'll let the marshals deal with it uh, at the appropriate time. So, um, what's your date of birth? If I may say whatever, this is not a secret proceeding. Am I right? <clears throat> if it's not a secret proceeding, videotaping or recording for my own safety, for my own sight, since the other party continuously fabricate things, modify a lot of stuff, editing, whatever they were doing in criminal way possible, all the way, for two years, we were being abused. That's why we want to have something documented ourselves to make sure there is no more abuse, no more criminal violation by the other party coming up. What's your date of birth? April 1st, 72. Excuse me, can you please speak up? You're speaking oh. very quietly. April 1st, 72. Thank you. Yeah. So Sorry, that's the nature that we were trained the whole life. So. Uh, you were present for your wife's deposition today, correct? Yes. And I gave her a bunch of the ground rules of a deposition. Did you hear those ground rules? Yes, I understand the rules. Okay. So um, the same rules apply to you. You understand you're under oath today? Yes, I understand. And you're supposed to tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? Is that correct? Yes. If the, if the other party have ever been truthful about it, I'll be happy about it. I'm not talking about the other party, Mr. Khan. I'm talking about you yes. and your sworn testimony today. You understand you have to be truthful? Yes. Okay. Now, um, we do have an interpreter here. 
in English, you appear to be understanding my questions. Um, if you want to proceed in English, and if you have any concerns about understanding my questions, you can ask for an interpretation. Is that how you want to proceed? Yes. Okay. That's fine with me. Let me know. He's going to be here. Let us know if you don't have uh, the ability to understand my questions or you want him to interpret. That's fine. That'll help the process. If you answer my questions that I ask you in English, uh, I'm assume that you understood my questions. Is that fair? Yes, in English. Yes. Yes. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, there's a couple of exhibits we marked at your uh, wife's deposition. I'm going to call your attention to those in a second, actually. Um, <clears throat> Are you currently taking any medication that would affect your ability to remember things in the past? I have a I have photographic memory. I can remember for 20 years before. Okay. So you have a very good memory and nothing, uh, that, no medication or anything that you may have taken in the last 24 hours is going to affect your memory. Is that what you're saying? Maybe some a little bit, but no. So what, what, what medication are you taking that may affect that? Sleeping pills. Okay. Um, have you taken any sleeping <coughs> pills yet today? No. Or just something from last night? No. Have you taken them within the last 24 hours? No. Okay. Um, are, do you have any medical conditions or anything that would affect your ability to remember things or testify truthfully? I have never been, I never lied before. Okay. Is there any reason you can think of as to why we cannot get your best testimony today? Yes, there will be some other way because the other party never given us the truthful document that we would need it. So I may not be able to answer a lot of things. My question is, is there any reason you can think of as to why we cannot get your best testimony here today? Yes, that's the response I get. I did not receive the truthful and true documentation response from the other party committed the crime and I may not be able to respond correctly. Do you need to see documents uh, to respond accurately and truthfully to my question? Yes. Well, let me know if there's a question or anything that you believe uh, you can't answer because of some claim documentation issues. Yes, okay? 45 minutes of body camera footage missing. The vehicle camera Sorry, footage missing. 45 minutes body camera. Body before. camera from the police officers missing, especially Sergeant Rogers inside the apartment. And there were the police report incorrectly and fabricating. And investigation reports I never received because there was no investigation like those things. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's fine. Uh, and another one I want to request is let the Sergeant Rogers not. I do not want him to be present in this place because this is my deposition. It's going to be important, and I don't want to have them here. He because he is not the party of the position. I am the one. All right. Well, he has legal right to be here. So, so I will not have. To, I, I will. I will decline to participate. Okay. Well, you do so at your own peril, Mr. Khan. And uh, if you decline to answer my questions today for a properly noticed deposition, simply because there's a party who's entitled to be here as president. They are not entitled. Hold on. We need to do this one at a time, please. Then you do so at your own peril. I will seek to get the case dismissed, and I will seek sanctions for all the costs associated with setting up this deposition, including the court reporter, the interpreter, and the videographer. Okay. If this country has no law, the rule of law, you Excuse may be Excuse me, please. One at a time and sit not so fast, okay? okay. Repeat your answer. If this country do not have the rule of law, you may do so. If they can dismiss the case. Take a look, Mr. Khan, at Exhibit uh, 21 from your wife's deposition. Do you recognize the cover page of that exhibit? <coughs> yes, it is publicly posted. Okay, DNA Tech Solutions is your um, business, correct? Yes. And the address that's listed on the cover page of this document is your home address in Daly City on Crestline, correct? But this one is not mine. Is that your home address this on the one, cover page? This one address is mine, but this one is not mine. I'm not sure I understand. What do you mean? This page is not mine. I never post my address on any website. 
Okay, well that's fine. But is, I can show you my website right now with my computer. I don't even see that. I think yes. we have printouts. This is right? another one that way you got from. Let me give you another admonition, which is a ground rule. It's important because the court reporter is typing up everything we're saying that we slow down and we do not speak over each other so she can keep a clean and official record. Does that make sense? I need, a, I need an answer or a, an affirmative this is, response. This is not mine. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if this is yours or not. What my question is, the DNA Tech Solutions is your company, correct? Yes. And 76 Crestline Avenue is your home address, correct? Yes. The phone number associated with this is 415-748-5777. Was that at any time a phone number associated with you or your business? Yes. Does that phone number still exist? No, the police have it. Was that the phone number associated with your phone that was seized? Illegally on the, seized. On the um, date of the arrest? Illegally taken. <coughs> and with help for two years, yes. <clears throat> okay, so that's that's the phone number associated with the phone that's currently in the pro uh, possession of the Panola Police Department? Yes, they stole it. And that was the phone number associated with the phone that was downloaded, information was downloaded, and it you were provided stolen. with that information? It was stolen. That's not the question. Yes, I am telling you, it is stolen from me without okay. my permission. We're going to be here for too long today unless you're able to answer my questions I will directly. not. I will okay. not be able to answer unless I have all the information we requested. Truthful. When the police violate the law, the law must be the law. We're going to be here all night, Mr. Yeah, Khan, I am if fine. you want to argue your case to me as opposed to the jury. Okay? I am fine. All I'm doing is trying to get some basic information. Yes. So have let's, they arrested let's the try criminal? To move us on. Have they arrested the criminal yet? The second and third pages of that exhibit, Mr. Khan, is that a newer version of your website, essentially? The one, it is not newer, it is originally as it, that okay. first page, I don't know where you get it from. That is not mine. I did not have any, any of that <coughs> design. Okay, This fine. is the original here, I am showing right in front of you here. This is my webpage. Is DNA Tech Solutions a registered business in California? Yes. And what's the address it does have associated? Anything, does it have anything to do with this case? What's the address associated with DNA Tech Solutions? Does it have anything related to the case? Are you going to answer the question or no? Not? Okay, then we'll mark that part of the question, and then we get to do this whole thing over again with yes. you to get some of these questions answered, yes. if that's the way you're going to go. If it is not relevant, I will not answer anything. Well, the judge and do not, please do not waste that. my time. <coughs> it cost me $800 per hour. Excuse me, I cannot write down. If you want your words on this record, you have to take your you have to take your turn. You can't speak over him, or it won't be here, and it won't it won't nobody will be able to read it. Sorry for interruption. It's okay. Uh, there's a phone number associated with the second and third pages on this of four one five two seven one one zero seven two. Is that uh, a phone number associated with your business? Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yes. You're not going to answer that question? Irrelevant. This is about violation of civil rights. It's not about my business. Are you going to answer the question or no, not? It is irrelevant. Okay. Well, let's mark that too. And you know what, Mr. Khan? I'm objecting to the question. I'm going to seek sanctions irrelevant. Yes. against you for interfering and obstructing this obstructing deposition. Just, okay. If that's fine. the position you're going to take. Uh, so. <clears throat> www.hackintosh.com is that your website associated with your business? Irrelevant. Mr. Khan, you know, you understand you're not the judge and the judge is the one who decides relevance and in a yeah, deposition, object. hold on, in a deposition there is a wide range of information that can be asked and this, this information is directly relevant to issues and I'm entitled to go even a little bit farther around the relevance realm so if you're not going to answer my questions we can maybe even walk down the hall and see if the judge could uh, assist us in this process okay because I think you're playing games just like you played games <laughs> in this case with the cell phone issue and not taking back your property 
and all this stuff. So if you're going to continue to play games, that's fine. You do so at your own peril. It is objection. I am not the one playing game. The game playing is by the other party fabricating everything. Where is my cell phone? Where is everything is evidence? <coughs> Where is the evidence? Where is the investigation? I haven't got anything yet. It's true that your email address as part of the court record here that you get e-filings from is david at hackintosh.com. Is that yes, correct? correct? And your website one of your emails so you can get information from customers or inquiries is info at hackintosh.com, correct? Yes, correct. And your website is hackintosh.com, correct? Yes, correct. Okay. The phone number associated with that business that's listed here, is that an active phone number? No. When was 415-271-1072 an active work number? In December. Of what year? 2018. It's been inactive since uh, December of 2018? 2018, December. And when was it active? All the time. Uh, I mean, was it active, let's say, in 2016, 2017, up until last month? Yes. There was also a number your wife gave of a cell phone, 408-431-1874. Is that another cell phone number of yourself? That cell phone number, I had it for 16 years. Okay. Is that number still active? Yes. Other than, do you have any other cell phone numbers that you use for either personal purposes or business purposes? Business purpose. What number is associated with the other uh, cell phone number or numbers? What is the relevant with this case? Just you can answer the question, or you can not answer the question. And if you don't answer it, then we'll bring it back. It. So, huh? I don't have to answer. It. It's not required by law. <clears throat> it is actually because you're suing, and it's relevant. So yes. you can either play games, or you can answer the question. I want criminal charges. Please let me know other cell phone numbers you've used for per personal purposes in 2016 or work purposes in 2016. Is it relevant? I'm sorry? Is it relevant to this case? Yes. My business? It is. You gonna answer the question? No. All right, we'll mark that as well. Uh, reserve my right to seek sanctions for having to bring all these people back and interpreter. Thank you. Do we need an interpreter for your next deposition session? No, I need the judge and the jury. Okay. And so there's only one deposition for each person. You already said that. <clears throat> well, not if somebody's uh, being obstructionist and not answering questions. We get to bring you back. Obstruction, of, so, obstruction yeah. of justice is by the defendant counsel in every way possible. You're, you have a Facebook account, David Shan, S-H-A-N, correct? Irrelevant objection. Well, your wife answered objection. that question. You're not going to answer it? Objection is irrelevant. You're playing games, Mr. Sean, okay? I'm not we'll mark that. Game. We'll mark that. Uh, Daniel Kung, K A U N G, have you used that name on any social media related sites? Do you go by that name? Never. You never gone by that? No. Do you go by anything similar to that? No. <clears throat> have you seen the. Um, Cell phone download report from your cell phone? Have you oh, read that? The data stolen from me? Yes. Uh, without it, without the party present, everything is only the one. What? Without the other party present, everything was done on the other one sided. I don't know if those are the true things or not. I'm not sure. And it, it doesn't have anything to do with this case. But you've seen that report, correct? I did not look everything because it was. You know, unnecessary. I know what I have. And after they see that the police, the defendant is supposed to be arresting a lot of people and none of them are in jail yet. Mr. Khan, you have seen the first amended complaint before the, the exhibit I showed your wife, which is in your stack over there, exhibit 22. Have you seen that before? I wrote it. Okay. So you wrote it. So is all the information in that first amended complaint um, accurate? 
kind of accurate because the party never released it. You know, as a public entity, the police agency trying to hide the information, modify stuff illegally, changing the report, tampering with the evidence. So the information is still inaccurate, incomplete. Well, you signed a you signed a sworn statement at the end of the First Amendment complaint. Why don't you take a look? Isn't that correct? Yes, it's correct, but it is incomplete. There will be about 15 more defendants have to add. There's a section for facts in here which you wrote, is that correct? Yes. Uh, and you understand that there's damages portions included in this First Amendment complaint, right? Yes. And the total damages you're seeking in this First Amendment complaint is $450 million, is that correct? Uh, at the time of the complaint was written, it was correct. Up to this day, it is not. And why? Because it's increasing daily. So this was filed in February of 2018. So is your uh, damages uh, higher than $450 million? Yes. And what are they today? You better find an accountant to do the math with interest and everything. So. Just imagine how much money I'm losing for everything. I don't. Uh, I don't have to imagine it. I need to find that out from you because you're the 30, one who's 30, seeking damages. Thirty-five thousand dollars for each USB stick. You have to repeat day. your answer because I was still writing his question. So one more time, please. Thirty thousand dollars per day for each USB stick they have, and my cell phone haven't improved yet. The business client I lost for those encryption keys they have in the possession. Now we tried to give you back that material. Hold on. We tried to give you that back that material when we were at a hearing in, in this courthouse and you refused to take it back. Is that correct? After you made somebody lost their whole business and later on trying to give it back like uh, pretending do you think it is free? It is fair? January first, two thousand seventeen, supposed to be in my possession. Try to return it to me in two thousand eighteen. But we brought it to court uh, on May 17th of 2018. Um, we brought your your Apple MacBook laptop computer, two flash drives, and one SD memory card, as well as the spray paint and the wire strippers. Let me just ask you this. All those items are your property, correct? More than that, supposed to be. <clears throat> I know, but just for that, just what I stated, that was your property <clears throat> that I just mentioned, correct? not included a lot of stuff is missing and the computer everything has to be evidence as a criminal investigation supposed to be evidence of the criminal investigation supposed to be held by this district court at least and you supposed to turn it <coughs> into the court and you took it back against the court order Mr. Khan, uh, I'm not here to argue with you I about am. the merits of the case I'm here to just get information yes. which is the purpose I am giving of the deposition you sorry I'm giving you information that you guys trying to cheat on everything. Okay, just try your best to answer my question directly. I do not have to answer because you never gave me the right answer. I need this information, never received it. I tried to depose the thief and you interrupted <clears> everything. <throat> and you made your own deposition. You said it is yours now. No, it was your deposition you gave. The flash drives and the SD memory card those were items seized at the time of your arrest, is that correct? Stolen from me. <clears throat> okay, this was the day of your arrest by Sergeant Rogers, right? It's intentional false arrest, yes. Okay, and we tried to give those back to you on May 17th of 2018 at the case management conference, and you refused to take those back, is that correct? I did not refuse, I said I want everything. <clears throat> Well, we were in open court. You did not take those back, I and we had to put it back into evidence. Isn't that right? I want the evidence to be at the district court, and I want everything all complete with the 14 laptops, all the iPhones, and the arrest of the thief. Do you claim that the police have these 14 laptops? It is their problem. They were the one intentionally <laughs> did it, everything, and they are responsible because I was there to recover my property. The, the, how good the your witness or whatever the memory, how good is his background? How, how good is he? Have you, you know, on parole, probation, <laughs> probation in Los Angeles for 
Grand Theft Auto, Active Warren out of Colorado Spring. Active what? Active Warren out of Colorado Spring for dangerous drugs. And a fraud complaint in San Pablo Police, theft complaint in Daly City Police. And that, that witness is very reliable, right? Credible? Kind of, I'm not here to answer your questions. That's, have the, a discussion that's the thing the I am responding to. Here to so ask you if you're going to ask the question, check your witness first. Take a look at this document. I just marked as 23. This is the notice of your deposition to be here today in this case. Is that correct? Yes, I'm in special visitation. What do you mean by that? I'm giving you a special visitation. I am not obliged to this. Well, do you understand when you file a lawsuit, you might have to show up somewhere and answer questions to support your case, and that's what we're doing today? Yes. Okay. But the other party never did. Take a look at Exhibit 22, which is under your laptop, uh, the First Amendment complaint. There's, uh, yes. I wrote it, so it's fine. Okay. There's 70, you also filed with it 78 pages uh, of exhibit attachments. Is that correct? Yes. And do you contend that those attachments uh, that were filed as document 39-1, those 78 pages, that those documents support your claims in this case? Those documents uh, support how the police and everybody got together and committed criminal acts. Let me ask Fabrication you. of documents, everything is in there. Let me ask you this question. Um, have you ever uh, have you ever threatened Mr. Lemus before? Does Lemus have to do anything with this lawsuit? Uh, yes, he does. You were arrested for contact related to Mr. Lemus. So I was arrested for child po possession of child pornography. <clears throat> you want to see it? Mr. Khan, I want to see an answer to my question. I want the full body camera footage without edit, without any modification, without tempering. I'm sorry, you're speaking too fast. Oh, I want the full body camera footage. Body camera footage without tempering, without editing, without anything missing. And the vehicle camera footages, especially the conversation inside the apartment and the time the police arrived. Otherwise, <coughs> this opposition is a waste of time, my time especially. Well, it looks like you're going to be coming back. I will not come back time. unless... I'm not coming back unless the other party is honest and tell them I made the mistake they said and do the right thing according in the matter of law. Have you ever threatened Mr. Lemus? If a criminal is being said, I will make sure you will never get out of jail. I will take you to court. If that is a threat, I don't know there is law in this country. Well, have you ever threatened Mr. Lemus to hurt or injure him because of the business deal that went south back in November and December of 2016. The business never went south. My business is normal unless, until I was, I don't want you know, until that, the gang get, get involved and put me, you know, kidnap me, illegally detain me for many days, injured me, injured my kid, injured my wife. Until then, it was fine. Let's back up a little bit. You gave Mr. Lemus some money to purchase some uh, cell phones, is that correct? Everything is written. And the party have to come up with the one. Otherwise, that whatever I answer, it is not going to be truthful because there's a lot of information missing. Tom, you're playing games. I'm okay? not playing games. We're trying to get information from you. You have all this information in the record. Now you're here to answer questions. I'm not Why here. Why can you not answer that basic question? I am not here to answer questions. Hey, Lemus is not relevant. The Lemus... I'm sorry. I'm not here. I'm not here to give the answer if it is not relevant. It's not your choice to determine relevancy, okay? If you choose not to answer my questions, then the judge is probably going to dismiss the case because I'm entitled to find out this information because you are a plaintiff. It's a pretty simple question. Did you give Mr. Lemus money to purchase these iPhones? It's in your complaint, so I'm following up on it. Yeah, it's in the complaint. 
Okay, so if it's not relevant, why did you include it in the complaint? How did it start? Why I went there? Okay, and so let's talk about it. Yes, that, the please. complaint is about why why did the police arrest me? Illegal arrest, what they did, and they fabricated documents one after another. And we're gonna get there, okay? I know you want to tell your story. I'm not telling the story, I'm telling the truth. Okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna do this anymore. <laughs> if it keeps talking, if people keep talking over each other, I can't do physically do it. So I will slow either down. one at a time or I'm gonna leave. All right, so we've, we've made the court reporter mad. Let's not do that because she's important to these proceedings. <clears throat> Let's go out and have some coffee first so we can calm down. Let's try to get through this, okay? Uh, if you are honest, if you are being truthful, it will be good. Otherwise, it will not. You play games since the beginning. So many how ways much, you play games. How much money did you give Mr. Lemus to make the purchase of these uh, uh, cell phones? How much money was it? I already gave it to you, the, the handwritten note. How much? At the time you requested the document, I you're sent playing everything. Games. I'm not playing games. Answer my question or I'll just mark it and you're not going to be able to provide that evidence of the case. It is already dismissed. submitted. I already produced at the time you requested. You don't even know. You guys trying to be hiding things because you okay. don't want the very precious limits trying to protect by the whole Thing. I do not understand why it is so important for a criminal in the police department because they commit the police are the one committing crime did you give mr. Lemus any laptops for use to buy those uh, iPhones from the T-Mobile store I did not give laptop for the phones what did you give mr. Lemus to purchase the phones for that business transaction money how much I don't remember I thought you had a photographic memory when I want to remember, I remember it. Yeah, so you're you're, t you're playing games is what I'm you're doing. I'm not playing games. I, I am playing the same way that you play. Khan, I've seen different numbers in all of your various filings. I'm simply asking a basic question. And we're going to be here till 9 o'clock tonight, okay, if you're yeah, going to play I would, these games. I would charge $850 per hour for my time. Okay, well, bill me, and I will send you a check for that. But, but not with point, the public expense I want from the pension fund. Everything. How much money did you give Lemus? It's a simple question. Over $100,000 worth. You gave him over $100,000 of cash? No. Well, when you say worth, I don't know what that means. You need to explain that. Why Lemus, the, the item I gave it to Lemus, it is on the list I always give. I did not give it. He stole from me a bunch. And some are for sale. And that he was begging me, please help me. I need to feed my child. I need to feed the family. Please help me. So, give him, okay, this one you sell it. Give me the money afterwards. Whatever profit, you can take it. This agreement, and the guy ran off with the money that he thought it would go on for the whole life. That won't even last six months. And the Pinopolis jumped in and, and the tried what? to. The Pinopolis. I don't understand that. Pinopolis. Pino, Pinopolis Department. Police Department? No, yeah, Pino. Pino. Oh, Pino Police Department. How much money did. How much money and or property do you believe Lemus took from you around early December of 2016? 100 and 116,000. Worth of property. This included uh, laptops, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. And it include cash as well? Yes. How much cash? I don't remember. I think Lemus, Lemus remember. He said something about maybe... Uh, Eight to twelve thousand, or something like More that. More than thirty thousand, easy. Okay. On your list there, you have the eighty-seven phones listed, or something. Is that correct? Yes. <clears throat> and all the stuff on that list is what you believe Lemus either took from you, or you didn't get back from him, based upon this transaction that should have occurred in late November or early December. Correct. Was there any investigation conducted? If they conducted investigation, you don't even have to ask me again. These information should must be in the investigation report. Can you answer that question, please? No. You refuse to answer that question. It has nothing to, to do question? with. It has nothing to do with the civil rights violation, the criminal act of the police. And Let's mark that, that, and we'll bring you back for further questioning. And next time we bring you back. Uh, I'm going to ask the court that you and your wife pay for all of this to occur because my clients 
should not have to pay for it. So I'm just putting you on notice now if you're not going to answer and you're going to play this game. On the record, your client Wait must a minute, I'm still writing what he said. So I'm just putting you on notice now if you're not going... To answer these questions, you're going to continue to play these games. And your clients are not paying from the public, it's from the public fund. That is the most disgusting thing they are doing. It's paying from the public, public fund? Public fund, yeah. The public cost. It costs us. Taxpayer money. Why were you in uh, Panol on December 24, 2016? To get what belonged to me. Which was what? Money, phone, computer, from thieves. From Mr. Lemus, correct? Thief, yes. Who are you talking, when you say that you use the word thief, who are you referring to? Lemus and his associates. Okay. Now, prior to December 24th of 2016, had you ever been to that um, apartment complex yes. before? Yes. On how many occasions? Twice. And what were you doing on those two prior occasions? Trying to find Lemus. And I went to the police department. Ask them for like this civil standby to help me get the stuff. Ask stuff. them for civil standby. When were you there at his complex prior to the date of your arrest? Fifteen or sixteen of December. Yep. Because his relative told me he should be home <clears throat> by midnight. No, you went there uh, on the 15th at some point and uh, spray painted his surveillance camera. Is that correct? Does it have anything to do with this case? Is that true, Mr. Khan? Does it have anything to do with the case? I was arrested for child po possession of child pornography and for production of child pornography. Is that correct? I'm just going to make Is my record. Correct? I am making the record. Is that correct? The sergeant is there. He was the one who told me. If I find any more in that hard drive, you will never get out of jail. That's what he said. You are under arrest for child invasion, child, child cruelty. Can you answer my last question? If they answer the question, I will. You want me to re-ask it? Is that what you're saying? If, they, if anyone come up with the right answer, I will answer everything for you. On December 15th, 2016, isn't it true you walked up to a surveillance camera near Mr. Lemus's apartment and you spray painted the camera? Isn't that true? Does it have anything to do with the case? <clears throat> Can you answer the question, please? It's irrelevant, and I don't have to answer it. Okay, we'll mark that, we'll bring it back, and we'll do all this again. Bring it back. Fine. I guess you'll have to find another babysitter for your son because I know that was a big deal for you. Yes, that's, that's the most why important. we tried to accommodate you. That's the most important thing, the most important one for my life. I would cut my heart out for my child. What's also going to happen is we're going to be moving all the relevant dates, including the trial date. That'll be pushed back even further. So your quote unquote day in court will be even later, if that yes. means anything to you. That party, the defendant, must pay their costs from their pocket, not from the public costs. And it will go on for 10 years, I will be fine. I can afford it. And it will cost, as the way I said, for each USB stick, it's $30,000 a day, $50,000 okay, for the phone. I'm sorry. I, I don't, I'm going to need a break, please. Yes, sorry. Let's take a break.